Shortly after Jesus began his public ministry, he went to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover, and there came into conflict with the Pharisees, the religious leaders of the day, who were in charge of the worship there. Jesus didn't deal with them. He spoke directly to the people, and he did miracles before them, and many of them believed on him, and this did not endear him uh, to the Pharisees. They questioned his authority to do these things, but one of the uh, Pharisees named Nicodemus saw the handwriting on the wall, and he came to Jesus secretly by night, uh, John chapter 3 and verse 2, and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do the miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus then told him that being a religious person, a religious leader, uh, was not what was needed. That would never get him to heaven. Uh, he said in John chapter 3 and verse 3, uh, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He was saying that in order to be a child of God, you have to be born a spiritual man. Uh, a plant that's born of the seed of a plant will always be a plant. An animal born of the seed of an animal will always be an animal. And a natural human being born of a human father and mother will always be a natural human being. In order to be a child of God, we have to be born of the seed of God, which is the Word of God. Uh, Nicodemus didn't understand this, and he said, How can a man be born again? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And uh, Jesus then explained to him that it's a spiritual birth. And possibly the most famous uh, verse in the Bible, John 3.16, Jesus told him, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.